Hi there, Joey from DayJobHacks.com. Today we're gonna to talk about how to build an email list with Facebook ads. I'm gonna go inside my computer. I'm gonna show you a sample campaign that I have set up. It is now collecting email leads. I'm gonna show you precisely how I did that. I'm gonna show you the funnel, the way I track the leads, how to set up the pixel, everything you need to know about building a campaign on Facebook and building your own email list. So you wanna build an email list with Facebook ads, I don't blame you a bit. It's really actually not that difficult once you know all of the steps involved. I'm gonna show you that today. If this is the type of video you enjoy, if you're a media buyer, if you like traffic generation, making money online, all of that stuff, please subscribe to this channel. Click the little bell icon so you're notified every time I post a video. This channel is all about that. I post videos every single week and you will now be part of the community inside the Day Job Hacks YouTube channel. With that being said, let's go inside my computer here in a couple minutes. I'm gonna show you exactly how I set up this campaign, the actual funnel I'm using as an affiliate. I'm monetizing this as an affiliate marketer, building an email list, and then I'm sending messages in the back end, but at the same time trying to monetize the traffic immediately after they enter their email. i show you this, this is in the finance, um, niche so it's actually highly competitive I'm doing it in the USA in this particular campaign but this can be done in any country with any type of offer you are running as an affiliate or whether you're a product owner whatever it is you do if you run a store you're going to want to start collecting emails from people from Facebook okay so this is just one strategy I know there are many people out there who claim to be experts in Facebook I am not claiming to be an expert I'm simply showing you how I do it how I collect leads and I'm going to show you how to do it yourself as well so let's go into the computer without further ado and then we'll go from there and I'll show you precisely what is going on here okay welcome to the inside of my computer I'm going to try and make this as fast as possible but at the same time giving you every piece of information you need to set this up today and start collecting leads for your business okay you need to collect leads for your business this is the funnel we are going to use I've showed this funnel before in some of the training inside powerhouse affiliate as well as some of the videos on the day job hacks YouTube channel this is a very simple funnel it's just because it's simple it doesn't mean it doesn't work you don't need to have all of these big massive funnels uh, especially as an affiliate we just want to get this set up so that we can start you know building something that we own that we can sell at the end of the day there's so many reasons why to have an email list and Facebook is a great way to build your email list and it's easy to do it compliantly so Facebook will be our web traffic here. We are going to send it to a lead capture page. I'll show you that lead capture and I'm gonna show you how I created the opt-in bait. That is what we're giving to our audience. Now, if you haven't already chosen your audience and you don't know who your custom avatar customer avatar is, make sure you look at the video that's going to pop up now or there will be a link in the description below. Read the description of this video below. There's a lot of links and a lot of tools that you're going to need to get this thing to work, okay? Now that we know our audience, we wanna build a lead capture page that will make them want to enter their email. Then once they enter their email, we are going to send them to the tripwire, okay? That is going to be the page that we're going to try and monetize that lead immediately as soon as we collect it. That is how we affiliates want to run our campaigns, in my opinion, because we wanna see a return on our investment when we start buying ads on Facebook. You can do this for less than $10 a day if you want. Um, Facebook allows you to really spend a low amount of money and still get results, okay? A lot of people think uh, you have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on Facebook. That is not the case. I'm gonna show you that today. Um, and I've also showed that in another case study that we have done in the past inside the powerhouse affiliate members area. If you go into your members area, you'll see we have another Facebook ads case study on the diet campaign that we ran compliantly on Facebook. So you can see we've done the same thing here. Um, you can see all of the ads, all the landing pages, exactly how we set all of that up as well inside the links again below that you can get access to that. But let's go back to this campaign today. We are going to simply set it up as the lead capture page and the tripwire, okay? I'm not gonna talk about the email too much in the back end. There's one email right here that we want to send immediately to our new lead. That will be important. So when you combine the tripwire and the first message that people get, we wanna make our money back on our ad spend. That's the key here. That's the goal. And that's what I'm gonna show you how I normally do this, okay? So let's go in to set up the lead capture. First, I'm gonna show you an example here. Let's go to the page. So this is the page I've set up 
I've chosen to go in the finance niche. I am a, an affiliate for many finance offers. I'm connected with many finance companies that want leads. I want to collect the lead first, okay? I want to own that lead so that I can start sending them other offers and other information in the future and monetize my website, okay? So that is why I collected the lead first. So first, I need to give these people something they want in return. Right now, we are in the midst of a pandemic. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on economically. People are worried about their future, and there is a potential recession coming. I thought that was a great opportunity to kind of use a trend that is happening right now, but at the same time, giving information that is helpful to people during this time, okay? So I'm not you know, gouging people here. I'm actually just giving them a report on what to do during a recession, okay? And that is, it's actually working. I'm collecting leads now. You're going to see that here in a second when we go inside my Facebook ads account. But basically, I've set up this squeeze page. I've, now, let's talk about the tools I'm using here first. Uh, I'm not a designer. I'm not a coder. I need drag and drop sim simplicity in order to build my pages. I always recommend Optimize Press. Go to dayjobhacks.com slash Optimize Press. You can basically have this all set up within an hour. You can have all of this set up. You, if you want, you can actually go over to our action plan which is the powerhouseaffiliate.com slash action dash plan. You can learn how to have all of this set up within 60 minutes. Basically, you have your squeeze page ready and you're ready to start collecting leads, okay? Um, basically, it's all here in the overview and video training for every little step along the way, okay? So I'm not going to go into that right now because it's all right here. Now, let's assume you have WordPress set up. <clears throat> and you have the optimized press plugin, then you're ready to go. Now there are other options you could use, ClickFunnels. I don't recommend ClickFunnels at all because you don't actually own the website and it's actually overly priced, all of that kind of stuff, clunky, I don't like it, okay? But anyway, I use Optimize Press because of the reason that it's so easy and I own it at the end of the day and I can build funnels easily using their templates. This is a template I am using here. Basically, I have set it up and basically just changed the words, changed the image over here, and now I set up this form. Now, I'll show you quickly how I set up that form and what tool I use. It's free as well. You can go over to dayjobhacks.com slash Aweber and you can sign up for the free plan that they now have. This is the email automation software that you need to have in order to build a list. Look, they're actually now giving it away for free. Zero to 500 subscribers go to dayjobhacks.com slash Aweber. I am an affiliate for both Optimize Press and Aweber. Let's just get that out of the way. However, I use them every single day to build my own business. They are excellent products and they are definitely required if you want to start building your own list on Facebook, okay, or any other traffic source. All of this is going to work on any traffic source. It's also going to work in any niche, okay? So um, this is important to understand. So you're gonna need those two tools, a, a funnel builder and an email automation software, okay? So ClickFunnels doesn't really have that available, so you, you'll still need to get a email automation software um, that's designed for emailing, okay? So this one here is the one I recommend. Now, let's get back into the actual page and quickly show you how I set this up. So once you have Optimize Press, you can click one click and integrate it with your Aweber account. It integrates with Aweber, okay? Once it's integrated, you can come over here and design your page. There's tons of templates in here that you can choose from, but one of the parts here that you can ed edit is when people click on this ebook, the template also has an edit overlay. So if I click on edit overlay, I can edit this form, which is now uh, right here. You can go into, uh, sorry, opt-in form here. And if I click on the integration options, it'll allow me to integrate it with Aweber. So now every time someone enters their email, into this list, it goes into my Aweber account, which is automated, that is going to send them a welcome email with the link to the book that I've given them, okay? So now you're probably asking, how did you get that book? Did you actually write it yourself? Heck no, I do not write these books. I don't have time for that. I don't hire people either. I actually just buy them, okay? They're very easy to find. I'm gonna show you how you can get these types of books in any niche instantly for you know pennies on the dollar basically considering the fact that it takes no time to get this set up you can rebrand it you can resell it if you want but basically go to dayjobhacks.com slash plr this is the site you will see you can come in here you can register for free you can get access to some of their free stuff but the good stuff 
like the one I got about recessions, is in here and it was uh you know one i had to pay for okay not a lot of money very cheap um you can also go on google and you can search your niche whatever it is if you're going into something say like meditation or anything like that search meditation plr on google and i'm guarantee you you'll have hundreds of results where you can get these ebooks that you can rebrand easily with your own website put it up as a freebie on your page and now you're ready you have your opt-in bait something that you want to give to people as you can see on this one i'm, I'm targeting people um, that are you know concerned about their personal finances talking about retirement fund in this angle i've done a video about angles check it out there will be a link down below as well as one that pops up i'm going to be testing multiple angles so i'm going to be testing multiple pages like this easy to clone these pages simply inside your wordpress account you can clone them change the headlines change the images change the call to action all of that kind of stuff we're going to be doing here as i test this um, but i'll show you the results of the first test so that you can see precisely what i'm talking about now one other step i've set up here is i've set up my campaign on cpv lab pro okay so cpv lab pro is my third party tracking platform i use myself i host it myself on my own host server um, and I use this as a tool. Uh, CPV Lab Pro is what I use because I, I find it's easier for me to track. So basically, as you can see, I'm testing pages here. Um, I just set this up this morning um, on this campaign, but you'll see that in Facebook, there's more visitors and leads because I reset the stats on here just to make it fresh, okay? But as you can see, I can put my level one page, which is the one I just showed you, and then I can set up the after opt-in page on here. So I'm gonna start seeing results on the first two pages I'm testing, as well as the after opt-in. So let's talk about that here now. We've talked about the opt-in page. This is it here. We talked about the free offer we wanna give people that are, you know, something that our, need, our, our target market wants, something to solve their problems, okay? Then we, when they enter their email, they will arrive on this page. This is where I'm immediately trying to monetize my traffic. It is called the Tripwire Offer, okay? So I've said, thank you. We are sending the book to your email. Are you paying too much for auto insurance, okay? Right into the offer, no screwing around here. I'm just trying to monetize that lead, okay? And this lead offer here is a CPL offer. You can get it on any CPA networks. It's an auto insurance offer. They pay roughly 10 to $20 per lead, depending on you know the quality and all that kind of stuff. You're targeting, et cetera, okay? So as you can see, I'm just doing this. This is one test. I'm going to be testing multiple thank you pages. I'm also going to be testing multiple squeeze pages on the front so i'm testing both of those in combination in my in my funnel so this is my funnel basically i've i've got them to you know click on the ad on facebook they come here they enter their email they come to the thank you page and then after that they are immediately sent a message from my aweber system that is going to send them an email that says hey thanks for you know your interest in this topic here's your ebook which is hosted on my server so basically they just click on it it opens up the ebook that is also branded with a bunch of offers a bunch of other stuff inside uh, sending people again more messages in the future through aweber automatically sending them to blog posts etc cetera, etc cetera. all of that stuff um, is how we do this but basically as an affiliate my goal is to get my money back before they get message two in my aweber sequence so that i can start if i can do that it's really easy to scale because i know i'll get my money back pretty much the same day and i can start you know really jacking up the budget and starting to go hard on facebook ads however sometimes you don't make profit until message two or three you just really have to measure it all and make sure you're doing it properly. So now let's go into Facebook. Now that we've talked about the funnel, how I set it up, um, you know, I'm gonna be testing multiple pages, like I said, but this is the simple setup, okay? So you have the opt-in, you have the tripwire, and now we're gonna go into Facebook and get people to come to our opt-in page so that we can actually get their email address. So bringing up Facebook, the first step we need to do is we need to actually set up our pixel. This is extremely important. It will not work if you do not have your pixel installed on your optimized press pages, okay? You should actually use Google Tag Manager, which I've done in the past, but this can be done also manually. What you're going to do is you're gonna come into your business account on Facebook, and you're going to click on the um, Events Manager, and you're going to add the data source, 
And what will happen here is that it will ask you to connect your website, okay? I've already done that step, but just come in here and do that, click website, and it'll do it for you. Just follow the instructions, it's very easy to do. Um, Facebook is making it a lot easier. You can also do automated tracking on here as well so that you can start testing um, and you can just actually enter the, e you, you can actually enter a URL and Facebook will automatically track that for you for whatever event you want. So really simple to do here. Um, make sure you add the pixel. That's, that's the key here, okay? Now that you've got your pixel installed, let's go back into the ads manager. I'll show you the results. Of Okay, so here are the results of the first test. Uh, it was running roughly 24 hours, maybe a little more. Um, as you can see, one ad set, I've, I've set up two ad sets, and each ad set had a separate landing page and a separate thank you page, okay? So I'm, I'm just kind of opening up the test here. You can't really do, um, uh, you can't use third-party tracking links. I don't think you can anyway, and I, I'm pretty sure I know a lot of people that are getting banned by using third-party tracking links. So I'm actually using the direct tracking option in CPV Lab Pro. This works for any other tracking platform out there. Um, if you're using um, you know, something like Thrive or you're using Volume, they all have direct tracking. So you wanna make sure when you submit your ads on Facebook that you use the actual domain name that you've set up for your ads. Don't use a tracking link, okay? So on that note, it makes it kind of difficult to split test landing pages because you have to actually submit each landing page into a separate ad set, okay? At least that's how I do it, okay? So I have two ad sets that I set up just for uh, to show an example here, and clearly one of them has one, so I turned off the other one. Now what I'll do is I'll mimic this one and start testing multiple ad sets. I recommend at least five to 10 ad sets while you're doing this. You can set each one to $5 a day. I have these ones at $10 a day, but really I've already got five leads here at a, at a price of $3.15 per lead, but remember these are Canadian dollars, so that works out to about $2.15 US, okay? So I'm paying about $2.15 US per lead on this one ad set, which was the first ad I set up, one ad, okay? You should also have 10 ads um, running, all that kind of stuff, okay? So there's obviously lots of work to do here, but even at $2 a result, I'm happy with that coming in into this because I have finance offers available that are paying me as high as $40, $45 per lead, okay? So I can get that person to enter uh, a lead form and get paid back 45 bucks or so or whatever. That means I can get like 20, 25 leads here at two bucks a pop and still probably break even if I get just one person to fill out the offer that I'm pitching on the uh, Tripwire page, okay? So the math works out here, but really my goal here is to get this cost per result below a dollar. I want this like at least uh, at the minute, at the most a dollar US per lead for this finance stuff. This is a competitive niche though. Um, so it's kind of impressive, I guess, in that regard that, you know, finance in the US right now is very competitive, but you can still get leads. Um, and I'm going to show you precisely how I did that. So what you do is you come in here and you click on campaigns and you're going to click create campaign okay so what I've done here is I've actually started with a conversions campaign there are many different strategies here people say you should start with brand awareness and reach so that you can retarget people and then get traffic and go through this funnel stuff all that whatever there's so many different ways to do it but for me literally I just set up the conversions campaign I went in here clicked on that and then I set the daily budget here I turned off campaign budget optimization actually so that I could set my ad set um, bids at, at or I, could, I could set my daily budget at the ad set level is why i did that um, because right now i'm in the testing phase anyway so i just want to test a bunch of different ad sets at the same price and so basically <clears throat> call that whatever you want and here's where it gets important you're going to choose the event that you're that you're targeting here for me I, in this campaign i'm targeting leads I've set up the custom lead event to fire as soon as someone enters their email and lands on the thank you page, okay, or my tripwire page. Make sure you need, you need to tell Facebook that when people land on that thank you page, you want them to be tracked as a lead, okay? So this is another advantage of doing this because now as an affiliate, you can still use the Facebook pe pixel to its full potential even though you don't own the actual product, okay? Because now you're telling Facebook to find people that are really close to the same, uh, like when they when they get more leads, basically, they're going to know to, to show your ads 
to those people that would likely become a lead. That's the, the, the advantage of using the Facebook Pixel. Now you're gonna change your location to whatever you want and your daily budget now you can set at the ad set level. And again, you can even go down as low as $5 here, which is you know uh, uh, not a lot of money, but at the same time, you can still get leads for $5 a day here inside your daily budget. Now, the next, the last step is you're going to want to use an image and you're, well, actually, you're going to want to try all different types of ads here. You're, I've used an image in my first test, but I'll also be doing video. If you watch the other case study we did inside Powers Affiliate, you'll also see that I used videos and images and actually had better results using videos, okay? Videos work extremely well um, for lead capture, in my opinion. But for, for this one, I'm just going to show you precisely what I would do here. You're going to add your media. So you, again, you can add a video or your image. Once you add multiple images, you can actually just create a video here inside Facebook and they'll create the video for you. Now, the advantage of doing this and having multiple different types of ads is that now Facebook will show your ads on multiple different um, devices, different places like Instagram, um, in, in the marketplace. The, by having all of your ads designed into different types, now you're making sure that you can get your ads everywhere so that Facebook can have a better chance of finding where your leads are okay so again depending on what niche you're in maybe your ads will perform better on Instagram than on Facebook if you have the Facebook pixel installed and you're telling Facebook where the leads are happening they will know that and now they will show your ads more in the in the places that are working best for you primary text here uh, I'm going to show you my example ad here in a second, <clears throat> so I'm not going to type anything in here. I'm just going to show you my ad, but um, what you'll also see here is you can enter your website URL. Make sure you enter the actual domain name that you're targeting, not your tracking link. I can't stress that enough. Don't put your tracking link in here as an affiliate. Don't try and direct link to CPA affiliate offers. You're going to lose your account. Done. See you later. You're never going to have your Facebook account back, okay? make sure you build a trust trustworthy website and i'm going to talk about that quickly here because i forgot to mention that earlier but as you can see at the bottom of my page make sure you have the menu down below that says privacy policy okay you have to have that on there or you're going to get banned i also always add these disclaimers onto my website no matter what just because I want that there when they review my website they're going to see that and they're gonna make sure that you know I, I just find it helps um, reduce the amount of times you're going to get banned because no matter what um, you're probably gonna get banned at some point running Facebook ads they're just so weird like that but if you have all this stuff available you will likely win your appeals every single time um, once you have your ads set up and you have the headlines and all that stuff make sure your pixel tracking is on and then come down and hit confirm and then it's going to go into review like I said if you're just starting out on Facebook um, you got to be careful not to break their rules you don't want to get banned if you do get banned make sure you appeal it um, and because many times you will win as long as you aren't running something non-compliant um, now let's go look at my ad here okay so this is the ad that's currently winning at three dollars per lead Canadian dollars um, but I really, like I said, I want to get this down below a dollar. I need to add more ads in here. I need to add more ad sets. I need to test different ages. I need to test my target audience more. And I've done the research. I know who my target audience is, but I just haven't set up enough testing, okay? Um, so that's what you really need to do to start bringing this down below a dollar a lead. You want it down in the 50 cent range if you can or below. Um, I know people are doing this in the diet niche, um, I, and I'm pretty certain I can do it in the finance niche as well so that I can pretty much make a profit, okay? So let's look at the actual ad. Okay, so here's the ad um, <clears throat> on desktop. So it's really not that great of an ad to be honest, but it's still working. Um, the, the image was not the right size for desktop. I literally just set this up so I could show you some, some examples, but uh, I'm, I'm definitely gonna get some better images that are bigger. Um, it is a big image, but it just wasn't the right size uh, for the the ad so make sure you go and you search on Google what are the best ad image sizes um, or actually when you submit your ad Facebook will actually tell you the best size for your images um, you can see it's got two likes so far and one 
um, comment here, which looks, you know, somewhat political. And that's probably going to be the theme of this type of ad. It's time to prepare. Uh, get. It's time to prepare. Get the free guide. Being prepared is the first step in securing finances during a tough time. Okay. So that is the ad. Basically, nothing spectacular. I like to keep them simple, um, and I like the images to kind of be capturing so that people click on the ad. Um, so I'm going to be watching the click-through rates on my ads. I want to make sure I tell people to tap below for the free guide or click below. It's call to action as well as the learn more button. You can test those different buttons as well um, right here when you're setting up your ad. Facebook will give you the option to change these as you go. So this is just one ad. Like I said, there's so many other things that we can be doing here, but um, it's just um, an example, I guess, to show you precisely how to get started on this for a really low budget, um, especially when you can get your free autoresponder from Aweber. You can start at $5 a day on Facebook Really, all you need to do now is just set up the ads, set up your, your landing page, and away you go. Now, there's one more thing I want to talk about quickly here because I think it's extremely important as we move forward in scaling this campaign, once we get the, the lead cost to the target lead cost that I want in order to make this work, okay? Um, what I'll be doing later, once I have emails, I can actually start setting up audiences. This is where it gets really interesting, where you can start retargeting people as well. You can start creating your own audience where you can actually upload a list of emails that you've collected and Facebook will now start building lookalikes, okay? You can build lookalike audiences so that now when you run your ads, it's automatically going to start with people that already have the same traits and the same demographics and all that kind of stuff that Facebook knows works and that you've already collected with your email list. So now you can actually just start out with really highly targeted audiences. And that's where we're going to be going next as we continue to build out this campaign, okay? So later on, you can actually start running different ads to your same target audience um, for different types of offers. So if you have a listicle about you know, how to save money, uh, you could start targeting your traffic campaigns to these people at the same time. There's so many ways that this email list building um, setup is going to work well for you. So I highly recommend you start implementing this now and start building an email list with Facebook ads. Okay, there you have it. That is how you set up campaigns in Facebook. If you enjoyed that video, again, please subscribe to my channel. I post videos like this all the time. Hopefully you'd like that. Come inside Powerhouse Affiliate Premium. Don't forget and check out the other case studies that we're doing, and there's plenty more to come. Mitchell there, we love Facebook ads. Ah, oh, God. <sighs> ads, I've generated huge amounts of lists. <sighs> Please subscribe to this channel if you are if you are involved. Ah.